Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make some fettuccine alfredo and it's super easy to make and um, a couple of ingredients. So we're going to need one stick of butter. Um, I like to use one and a quarter cups of heavy cream and then one pound of fettuccine and um, I like to use about half a cup to three-fourths a cup of Parmesan and then two cups of Pecorino Romano cheese. Um, a lot of people use Parmesan cheese but I think it's so much better when you put Pecorino Romano. This Pecorino Romano cheese is um, really like it's gonna stink in your kitchen. People are gonna be like, oh what's the smell? But it's gonna taste really good in your fettuccine alfredo. Or I've even used um, Asiago cheese, but um, I really love the Pecorino Romano cheese in the fettuccine alfredo. Okay, so I already have my boiling water right here for my fettuccine. And every time we do pasta, we always salt it like the ocean, okay? And this does two things. A, it helps the pasta, it helps it prevent from sticking. And um, it also gonna flavor the pasta. And I'm gonna start heating this pan up. And I'm gonna drop in my fettuccine alfredo. I mean my fettuccine pasta. I'm gonna drop in my fettuccine pasta. Just let it do its thing. Once it starts to get soft, you can fit it all in the pot. I should have probably just used a bigger pot, but I'm just very impatient. So. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did use unsalted butter just so that we can control the amount of salt. I just like to turn the pasta every once in a while. Um, my butter and my heavy cream is already melted. And now I'm gonna put in my cheese. I'm gonna put in my cheese. Just kind of whisk it so it can blend smoothly. And I do like to grate my own cheese just because I feel like when you buy the store bought cheese, it's kind of, it kind of takes longer to melt because of what the chemicals that they put in it or whatever they put in it. And so I like to grate my own cheese. I feel like it um, melts and blends better. I just do it until all the cheese is melted. Just kind of whisk it and do it until all the cheese is melted and um, how thick you like it. This is really good. My son loves 
um, Alfredo sauce. How the cheese is melting already. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's already melted, so I'm just gonna turn off the heat. The sauce is already melted, so I'm just gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna put some black pepper. How much black pepper do you like? Put that much, and then we're gonna um, taste it for salt once we add the pasta in. So I think that my pasta is already al dente, so I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm just going to transfer the pasta here. And I like to sing the pasta water just because um I want like just in case I want more sauce. So I'm just going to turn it around. That looked delicious. Oh, no. Alright, I'm gonna put some salt. Just be careful because the cheese is pretty salty. Okay, that looks beautiful. I'm just going to put a little bit more black pepper. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to serve myself. This is really good. Mm -hmm. This is amazing and so fast. Remember when you use the Pecorino Romano, I feel like it makes a big difference. You could use Parmesan cheese. If that's all you have, but um, I feel like Pecorino Romano makes a big difference. And um, I hope you like this recipe. And um, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And comment down below if, like, if you would like to see something else. And um, thank you for everybody who has subscribed to me. I have four new subscribers and <laughs> it's probably not a big deal to you guys but I feel like um, 
it's a big deal to me and so thank you everybody talk to you next time bye